Hey what's up guys with Jaggers here. I'm back with another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 tips and tricks video and today I'll be teaching you guys how to drop shot in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 without a scuff controller. So first thing you gotta do is go all the way to your options and then control and go all the way down to tactical. So what tactical does is pretty much changes your melee attack to circle and your crouch button to right. And this enables you to not have to not have to move your fingers while you're crouching. Because before you would have to crouch in a circle and you have to take your fingers off the right stick, which is really bad while you're trying to aim. Unless you play claw, this won't really be useful. If you don't play claw, you're just a regular player. Use the regular standard uh, layout or put your hands <laughs> on the control like a regular person. <laughs> then I think tactical will be really useful for you guys. And here are some examples of why drop shotting in Black Ops 4 is really useful. Here we go. Alright, I hope y'all enjoyed that little montage I made for you guys of me just drop shotting random people. And while I was teaching you guys how to change, I did forget to tell you that it actually helps you slide easier, which is really useful because sliding in this game is pretty crucial. And I'm just gonna go into game I'm just gonna go into a TDM game with my boy Hill Focus. Say hello Herman. Yeah, you can barely even hear him. But um yeah, we're just about to go Hello, 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 I'm here. I'm here. We're about to go into a TDM match. Show you guys a little bit more examples of why this would be useful and um, in TDM. So here we go. Anyways, I can slide so much more easier with uh, thumb being on the right stick instead of circle. Because circle, you have to move your whole finger off the right stick. It messes up your exactly. aim. It messes up your aim completely. So if you guys don't have a scuff controller like me, because you know I don't got that, I don't got that type of money. This would be really useful, and I think, in my opinion, this makes you a total, totally. Better and if you are gonna buy a scuff, don't put any designs on it, it just costs more. Just get a plain simple one, save you some money. Like, I remember, like, I mean, I had bought my first scuff and I put like so many designs on it, it came out to $300. Bought another one, came out to like $150. Oh, yeah. That's if you guys are wanting to get a scuff. Uh, if not, cool. then you know. Tactical is the way to go. Yeah, you don't yeah. have to get one. You can still be a great player without a scuff. See, look at that, look at that, bro. Look at Scump, he doesn't have a scuff. Oh, for real? I don't know that. Oh, yeah, he doesn't, doesn't have a scuff. scuff. <laughs> that guy's a god. So no. he plays on tactical. He uses, he uses claw. claw. Yeah. Like in my um in my little tutorial, I was just telling you guys if you do play claws, then there's no need to switch your controls. But if you just have your fingers on, like you know, like I said, a regular gamer, then claw. I mean not claw. Then tactical is like uh, what you should do. The way, way to go. go. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. I'm just going to end it here. It was a quick tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like because I'm going to bring more tips and tricks for you guys. And, um, nice.